Let's talk about this big Crash Bandicoot leak and Super Smash Bros. Ultimate's DLC coming next week. Rock What's happening, my block buddies, and welcome to a brand new episode of Block Content's Leak Speak. My name is Callum, and this is going to be your content for today. I know we've been talking a whole lot about Crash Bandicoot, also a lot of other fighters that might appear in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate soon, but it does seem now, because of one leak that I'm going to discuss today, that Crash Bandicoot seems ever likely. I know yesterday we've talked all about Geno and a couple of other different characters in the ARMS universe, and we know at least one of those things is going to happen, right? And it seems like, because yesterday was of course the big day that supposedly was like a big day for arms with the anniversary and everything nothing of note really happened on that day while everyone was expecting the arms character to drop or at least a trailer of something or at least the sakurai presents episode that was not the case at all so it really does seem like june that they mentioned was actually the end of june it'll happen next week probably somewhere around tuesday or thursday or friday of next week so i think that it's very likely that we might be getting it also in the weekend, so the 27th or the 28th. I mean, there's a lot possible here, but let's talk about the fact that we might be getting two characters that drop there, as well as a big reveal of a Crash Bandicoot game. Yes, a brand new game, not some sort of remake or remaster of something that came before, that I get to talk all about, because it's a very detailed leak, and of course the Smash Brothers Ultimate of it all, and I've of course been answering many of you guys' questions about that game and new fighters in our show Question Block, where I answer your questions. What do I think of your favorite game? How do you start making YouTube videos? Well, whatever you can think of, send your questions through to blockedcontentmail at gmail.com and I will answer your question live on the show in our next Blocked Content episode. And here's a brand new giveaway. You can win one of these Super Mario Surprise Capsules. It's really cute. We're giving them away very, very quickly. So please subscribe to this channel right now. Hit the subscribe button, like this video, so maybe you can win one of those cute action figures inside one of those little plastic balls. All right, guys, let's head into the main topic of today. And I just want to dive right into the leak that talks about Crash Bandicoot and Tangled. So here we go. Crash Bandicoot and Tangled will be a soft reboot for the franchise, but will be heavily linked to the Naughty Dog titles. Crash will traverse islands and worlds once again, similar to the first game, although the hubs will be much more open akin to Spyro. Levels will be a mix of linear hallways and more open spaces. Crash will retain his moveset from Crash 3 with the removal of the Fruit Bazooka, which is replaced by special abilities similar to Eco from the Jack and Dexter games, granted by various masks. There will be a lot of returning characters from the Naughty Dog games and a few from the post-Naughty Dog era in addition to several new characters and villains. The game will feature a pirate theme throughout and will have a deeper narrative than previous games. Announcement scheduled for tomorrow, with the merch that was leaked slated to be announced on Friday, with the game releasing in November as a launch title for the next-gen console. So, of course, a lot of you guys are really wondering, well, something like this reveal would go hand-in-hand -hand with a Super Smash Bros. Ultimate reveal, right? I mean, what's even cooler than announcing that this game might even come to the Nintendo Switch than to say, oh, and by the way, if you're not yet familiar with Crash Bandicoot, well, that character will also come to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, a game that you probably, if you own a Nintendo Switch, already own. So you can try out Crash Bandicoot over there, and if you like it, you can actually get the Crash Bandicoot Entangled game. That, to me, would be a great marketing tactic, and I think that they should do that stuff with Smash Bros. in the right ways, not just, you know, kind of talk about a character or promote a character after the game has long yet released. They really need to get those, you know, working titles out there as soon as possible. So the idea here that it is a soft reboot for the franchise actually feels like, you know, it could be a centerpiece of the remakes, right? Those also felt like some sort of reboot, but this would be telling a brand new story. This would be a brand new story mode. And of course, also maybe have a brand new art style. If we look at the image, of course, graphs that we've seen before, but I mean, I would love it for, yeah, for the same visual style of the remakes to kind of shine through, but do something new with it regardless. I think that it would be a uh, very telling if you just use that exact same engine and animations and just make new levels. I think 
people really want the next chapter in the world of Crash Bandicoot and not just some remake with new levels. And it re really feels like they're trying to do that because he will traverse islands and this will be pirate themed. So it really feels very similar to something like Donkey Kong Country, which also sometimes had a very big pirate theme, of course, with Captain K. Rule and stuff like that. But the idea here is that the levels will be a mix of the linear hallway design, which is also, you know, very Crash Bandicoot, you know, move either forward or back throughout the world. And it's these, you know, tight corridors. Sometimes they won't look like tight corridors. They'll be like island levels or something like the jungle, but it'll, you know, in essence, actually be just a simple hallway style level, like some sort of like later Final Fantasy game, right? But it also says to have more open spaces. So this means the ideas that people have been working on with the mods of different Crash Bandicoot remake games, where it's essentially an open world style design that was already inside of that game. They just, you know, tailored it towards the remade levels. Well, it feels like we might actually be getting that sort of design for the new Crash game. So that to me is already extremely exciting because that will really be the next chapter of what the franchise can actually be. And Crash Bandicoot, I think, is, you know, has so many miles left in it. If you even see how well the remakes are doing, how well that racing game is doing as well, how vibrant the characters are in the world. I think that if you are introducing us to a brand new world with new characters and new bosses, I think that a lot of people will fall in love with that universe and it's not out of steam yet at all. So if this entangled, you know, different game will actually be successful, I think we might be looking at the big return of a huge mascot. And, you know, we can't talk about mascots if we talk about the ultimate mascot fighter, Super Smash Brothers Ultimate, and the idea that, of course, Fighters Pass number two will have third party characters, and as of this moment, we really don't know yet, then it does really seem likely that we'll be getting Crash Bandicoot at least as one of the characters, right? If we just look at the history of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate and the characters that we already have, they're all huge wish fulfillment characters, and they're also these huge deals with third party developers, and sometimes even direct competitors of Nintendo. I mean, look at Cloud, that is essentially, you know, very much a Sony owned property. Not anymore at this point, but I do feel like that character is synonymous with the Sony and the PlayStation brand, as well as Snake from Metal Gear Solid, and now you have cr basically Crash Bandicoot in the footsteps of that, which would also be like the original Sony mascot. And now, Banjo and Kazooie are also in Smash Bros. Ultimate, and that is of course Microsoft, which is also a direct competitor of Nintendo, so it all kind of does make sense. So if we do get third-party characters, and we might get that announcement very, very soon, because next week seems like the final chance for Nintendo to make good on the promise that they'll reveal the ARMS character, everyone is already expecting that we won't just be getting one character, we might be getting two characters, very similar to what we got last year, with the great reveal of two different characters that we've wanted for a very long time, the hero from Dragon Quest, and then Banjo-Kazooie. So all of this together, the Crash Bandicoot remake stuff, and of course a brand new game with Entangled, which sounds really incredible to me, and that of course Super Smash Bros. Ultimate DLC, and very specifically, if Crash Bandicoot could be joining, and well, what would Crash Bandicoot actually be doing there? He would be promoting his brand new game, which might also hit on the Nintendo Switch. So that all makes total sense to me. I think it's awesome, and I'm I'm really curious what you guys think of all this. If you comment down below, that could actually be featured and read out loud in our next video. And today's comment question is, do you believe the Crash game leak? Well, as for a previous comment question winner, our answer comes to us from our user, Nick O'Brien, saying, Cool video, bro. Still waiting on Master Chief. His legacy should be acknowledged by having him become a Smash fighter. His moveset could have a lot of potential, because they could give him some fighting moves from Dead or Alive since he was an outfit for a character and mix it up with various weapons from the Halo franchise, and he could easily become a fan favorite of Smash players like me. So, Nick O'Brien, thank you so much. And of course, if we talk about third-party characters, and of course we mentioned Banjo and Kazooie, then the big mascot of Microsoft can arguably also be Master Chief himself, the Halo main character. And I think Master Chief has a lot of potential for Super Smash Brothers. I think more than any other shooter character, I think that Master Chief would be incredible, not just with the Covenant weapons that really fit the Smash Brothers universe in terms of, you know, the fantastical style and not necessarily really being bullets and stuff like that, but also generally the feeling of having a more heavy character, this big, 
Microsoft juggernaut and also having this crazy move set that combines the kind of CQC fighting moves that were also present in that Dead or Alive game, which I totally love. And then of course, adding it up with these crazy Spartan abilities like crushing down or using the jetpack or stuff like that. I think that I can already see in front of me, you know, throwing plasma grenades, having them stick on people's noses, and then of course them exploding. And then yeah, using the Spartan laser as maybe the final smash or other stuff like the vehicles, the mongoose or the warthog or stuff like that. There's endless possibilities. So Nick O'Brien, thank you so much for sending in your comment. And these are always so much fun to do, guys. So thank you so much for always commenting down below. And of course, a big shout out to your latest Patreon supporters. You guys that support that Patreon are really the most amazing fans that I could ever ask for. So thank you guys so much. If you want to support the channel, then I would be very, very happy about that. Patreon.com slash blocked content. There are awesome rewards there for you. And remember, if you're not yet a member of the blocked content family yet, hit subscribe subscribe now, smash that like button and ring the bell for notifications and all the news and fun you care about will be delivered on the daily to you. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you around the corner where there's always more blocked content. See ya.